Hi there. I know we're not in my little red Jeep, but I wanted to share something with you. From time to time, I get invited to support a team that's trying to take an older building and bring it up to code. So I want to show you something that happened on this project. They had a water leak, and so they had to remove drywall that was wet. And when they did, they exposed this shaft. I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see that the pipes coming through aren't fire stopped at the shaft liner. But if you look closely, you can see some fire stop on the pipes where they're coming through the finished side of the drywall. This, unfortunately, is a common occurrence even in construction I see today. Somehow people neglect the shaft liner side. And this is a massive problem because a shaft is an opportunity if a fire gets inside, it can access every single floor that that shaft wall passes through. So if you're working on a project and you have shaft walls and you have penetrations through those shaft walls, please make sure that you are checking the fire stop at the shaft liner side and that you have a fire stop detail that allows for the use of a narrow framing member. A lot of the fire stop details that you look at are going to say that they're applicable for a wall that has a minimum two and a half inch framing member. This clearly is not two and a half inches. And you may think it's not a big deal. If you think that, then clearly you don't understand enough about the fire dynamics because that gap is a big deal. I'm not gonna go into that diatribe today because there's more on this wall that I wanna share with you right here. Now, here's where we get into an interesting code conversation. Basically, when this building was built, that's considered a prohibited penetration. They should have allowed the mechanical and plumbing to come through, but not the electrical. Now, depending on the code that you're working with, this may still be true. However, if you're working under some of the newer codes, you'll see a line where it discusses prohibited penetrations in shafts. So if you have an old project and a similar challenge like this, and you've got questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. If I can get you set on the right path with something as simple as a conversation like this that takes just a few minutes, I'm more than happy to help you. Don't hesitate to reach out. I mean that, seriously. So I hope to hear from you. Until next time, this is Sharon from Halpert Life Safety Consulting. Just remember, if you want to build better, we want to help.